The Auditor General provides assurance to Parliament on the accountability and performance of the Victorian public sector. Victorians rely on the state's Emergency Services Organisations, or ESO, for assistance during emergencies and crisis incidents, and expect a prompt and efficient response to these services. To meet these demands, information and communications technology systems need to be sufficiently reliable and available to make sure emergency services can operate effectively. This audit considered the processes and systems used from when an emergency call is received by the Emergency Services Telecommunications Authority, or ESTA, until the successful dispatch of an emergency responder unit. Please note that future audits will examine dispatch to arrival at an incident. The audit objective was to determine whether emergency response ICT systems were meeting the service delivery expectations of emergency service organisations. The audit examined 11 public sector agencies, including ESTA, all the emergency service organisations, as well as their portfolio departments. ESTA plays a critical role by answering emergency calls and dispatching the appropriate emergency responder to the scene of an incident. We concluded that, when all systems are working, ESTA is meeting its call-taking performance standards but has consistently failed to meet its emergency ambulance dispatch standards over the past three years. Emergency services radio networks require attention, and it is difficult to see how ESTA can meet its expected growth in demand for its services, which is currently at 3% per annum. This is further compounded by the limitations of current ICT systems and the inadequacy of backup arrangements. Under the Emergency Management Act 2013, Emergency Management Victoria, or EMV, is responsible for major emergencies and for interoperability between ESOs. Organisations such as ESTA and Ambulance Victoria are not included in the Act, which makes EMV's consultative role difficult. The audit recommends that EMV should be responsible for facilitating the interoperability of all organisations involved in emergency response. Triple zero call taking, dispatch and emergency resource management are effective during normal operations, but emergency ambulance and Victoria State Emergency Service dispatch performance is unacceptable. Esther is not meeting the day-to-day -day performance objectives for Metropolitan Emergency Ambulance Dispatches and is not issuing dispatch instructions within agreed time frames. Ambulance call takers use a structured call taking process to assess the appropriate type of response to an emergency. This can result in delays dispatching an ambulance, particularly during periods of low ambulance availability during compulsory meal breaks. ESTA's business rules need to be reviewed to allow ambulance dispatchers more flexibility in issuing dispatch instructions, taking into account compulsory meal break procedures. The three ESTA State Emergency Communications Centres, or SECC, are critical to the emergency management process. If any of the centres or their ICT systems was to be destroyed, degraded or unavailable for an extended period, there would be a fundamental negative impact on the delivery and continuation of emergency service management in Victoria. The SECCs and their associated ICT systems should therefore be defined as critical national infrastructure. Some emergency response radio systems have performance, reliability and availability limitations which are impacting operations. The communication systems used for emergency management range from the latest digital technology to older analog networks, which are mainly used in regional areas. The Metropolitan Mobile Radio, or MMR network, performs well at a technical level, but suffers from congestion on certain Victoria Police channels. This is due to the volume of voice traffic on these channels from Operational Police and Protective Services officers each evening. The State Net Mobile Radio, or SMR network used by all rural emergency responders, is unsatisfactory when compared to the performance of the MMR network. 
A newly introduced Country Fire Authority digital radio network is meeting operational requirements and should be extended to other ESOs. Esther's Computer Aided Dispatch, or CAD system, is a critical ICT system which holds all emergency service data and is a single source of truth against which Esther's actual performance is measured. The CAD system has failed on several occasions. When it fails, Esther dispatchers are unable to access vital information to a system to develop dispatch instructions. The manual card based backup process is inadequate and causes significant delays in the dispatch process. Despite having funding approved two years ago, CAT is now only being upgraded because of previous industrial action at Esther. On at least five occasions in the past 18 months, the CAT system has failed, leaving dispatchers without access to key information to make decisions. Esther has activated a card-based backup system, which has resulted in significant delays in dispatching emergency units to the scene. The CAT system upgrade will improve the resilience of the infrastructure and network but will not enhance system operational capabilities. The Esther telecommunications network, through which triple zero calls are received from Telstra, is outdated and will not be supported beyond December 2015. A project to replace it is now commencing. Esther currently has two significant funded projects underway to improve the shortcomings of current systems. The report made 10 recommendations aimed at addressing issues identified in the audit. These recommendations are available in detail in the report. All agencies involved in this audit have accepted their applicable recommendations. The agencies have indicated specific courses of action in their responses. A previous related VEGO report was titled Obsolescence of Frontline ICT, Police and Schools, tabled in June 2012. We are undertaking a further audit this year titled Emergency Service Response Times, which will examine emergency service response times from a responder receiving an ESTA dispatch instruction until arrival of the responder at the scene. This audit report will be tabled in May 2015. All our reports are available on our website at www.audit.vic.gov.au. If you have any questions about this or other reports, or if you have anything else you would like to discuss with us, including ideas for future audit topics, please call us on 038601 7000 or contact us via our website.